Hey guys, what's up? Matt Safi here. Um, pretty cool day today, I'm pretty excited. I've been working on a little pet project for the last couple of weeks, and uh, that is to build my own DIY uh, thruster or for my kayak to, to or create my own DIY electrical propelled kayak. And uh, so, what I'm gonna do is today we're actually taking it down to the water to go give it a test. So, I am super psyched about that. But before I go down, uh, go down to the water, I'm just gonna take you guys through what I've done and just show you how I've set it up. So, let's take a look. Behind me is the kayak, and um, got it set up in the garage, and last night I finished uh, getting it all rigged up and getting everything working. Very simple setup, dirt cheap setup. Uh, got a lot of the stuff I got of AliExpress, which was like really, really cheap. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. I've got a, a standard size battery box that I just bought. Inside I just got the three batteries set up in parallel. So this little standard battery box is just going to get tied down when we get down to the water. I've got the batteries in. Uh, cables. I've got the cable running down that goes to the thruster itself. I've got on this little uh, flip thing. I'm just using a little uh, <clears throat> bungee cord cable at the bottom just to keep it in place uh, for the test. And then, but uh, you know, while I'm in the water and it's too shadow, I can just pick it up like that. I'll just be able to flip it over <clears throat> and then um, to give it a test, which is very cool. And then the control box, very simple. I just took like a simple little Tupperware tub. Um, I've got my servo tester built in there and I put in a little voltmeter so I can just. Uh, check what the voltage is like while I'm using it and yeah, that's it pretty simple And all I'm going to do is to get it started is I just got to connect this little wire You can hear the motor boot up And we've got power to the control box and by turning the little servo tester it Turns the motor on Cool guys, so that's um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be testing today. I'm super excited and um, yeah Let's get down to the water and test this sucker out. Okay, cool guys. So we are here at uh, the landing at Akaho Bay and this is where I'm going to be testing it. The water is quite nice and flat. It's not too bad. So the boat's in the water. The motor is on. I have tested it. It is working. I'll just double check it again. Make sure that we've got, yep, we've got power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paddle out. And I'm first going to just measure how fast I can paddle at normal speed. And then I'm going to be trying the motor to see if it works. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm starting the paddle test. So this is a normal cruising speed. That I'd... So this is typically how fast I would paddle while going out. Which, according to this, is about six kilometers per hour. So it's between four and six kilometers per hour. Cool. Okay, normal paddle speed is about four to six kilometers per hour. Okay, Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn it around now and put the motor in. This is the big time, the big moment. Why did you paddle back and then from here? Okay, good, good call. Let's do that. I'm going to get the motor in and test this out. So, bring the paddle, bring the paddle to the side and let's do it. Motor's going in. I've got the control box. And here we go, test number one. I'm initializing the motor. power okay, that's the speed? speed is very slow two kilometers per hour at 50 percent okay take it to the poles and see what speed you get if you the speed drive power four kilometers max and 100 percent looks like we all lost the bet So it's 
not bad. I didn't get the speed I was hoping for, but I was thinking maybe it's just too much weight for the thrust. So then this lets me think that maybe I do need at least 10 kgs of thrust, which means two of these little motors mounted on it would be fast enough. But even with one motor, although I'm not getting the, the speed that I want, with one motor, this is still good enough. I mean, just for a paddle assist. I mean, if I just wanted to assist with paddle, definitely helps but also sounds like the resistance of the water is, is making it a bit difficult for the motor to to turn as well compared to testing it in the bath where it's getting a lot more effort but this is not bad I mean I'm, I'm, I'm paddling very lightly I'm really not giving it a lot of effort and I mean I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting movement here I mean it's, it's pushing the motor she's going but even just for a paddle assist I mean if you get a bit tired of paddling you won't stop the motor's still going to keep you going so this, this is still helpful, but I think if we wanted to double the speed, get it to up to at least 8 kilometers per hour, we're definitely going to have to get a second motor on you. But, but I'm pretty happy with the results so far. It's not the results that I wanted. I can't say that I'm disappointed. If I'm hitting 4 kilometers per hour with the current, if you take a look, I'll give you, oh, let, me, let me take it out and show you. But, and if you look currently how we're moving, You'll see, I mean, I'm not exactly creating a wake, but I am moving. It's moving the kayak forward. I mean, I am, I am being propelled, and I'm not paddling. So, I mean, if I was have, doing a long paddle, and I wanted to use this just for a paddle assist, that, was, that would be fine. I mean, I could, I could put this on and do a paddle, and I'll still be fine. Turning's a bit slow as well, so you kind of want to go straight if you want to try it out, but definitely going faster when you're going straight. But yeah, that's not bad. I think it's a good test. Not the results I wanted, but uh, definitely giving me some more stuff to work with. So um, yeah, keep watching the space next time. I think next time there will definitely be two motors on the back of this, uh, of this kayak and hopefully we'll be having um, some better thrust. So all in all, uh, it's not the results that I was hoping for, but I'm pretty happy with, with what I got. Um, I managed to get four kilometers per hour max speed uh, on the thruster while going straight. So next step now is um, to get another thruster that I can add onto to try and increase the thrust and um, increase the speed. Uh, my goal is to try and get up to eight to ten kilometers an hour. I'm not too sure if a second motor would do that, but I'm definitely going to try. Otherwise, I need to start looking for a bigger thruster, something that has uh, uh, more thrust. But um, so far. With the results that I have, I'm pretty happy. I know that um, the, the setup works. I know that the motor works. I know that I can get the kayak moving with the thruster. Um, now I'm just going to start looking for a couple of different parts. The main goal is still to, I want to keep the price down. I want to keep it cheap. I don't want to go for something expensive. I want a nice, low cost, easy solution that I can add into the kayak and share with everyone, with, with my mates and um, any of, uh, of you watching and um, take it from there. So next step is to, to get another motor and um, install it onto the kayak and try some testing again. So uh, hit subscribe and uh, yeah, look out for my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Cheers. Hey, take one. So we are testing a three to five kg underwater thruster.